All right, welcome back to Happy Hour with Heather and Guest. This is episode number 93. I'm that other dude, Andrew. And as always, I'm joined by Heather. Hello. And uh, today, the ball is in your court. So yeah. we're going to discuss two bands. Um, the first uh, contacted me to send me their EP. They have a full length that's coming out in 2024. They're a band, an instrumental band called Circle of Rhinos. And then we'll be talking about Madame Frankenstein. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. shall, shall we, do you want to start with the Circle of Rhinos? Sure. Okay, they are from Rome, Italy. Yes. Crossroads breed is there this album instrumental hard rock it has a has a throwback feel to it i definitely got some thin lizzy vibes um really good guitar driven rock i really like how each one of their songs sounds different than the other and they seem to explore some different territories there's a lot of nuance to their songs. They're just not cut and dry. They're not straightforward. There's a lot going on. Some songs have more groove and some have more of a bluesy feel. Some are more atmospheric and vibey. They're very satisfying. The album has four songs on it and I saw that they're currently mixing their new album. So that's some good news. And, um, definitely something to look forward to and when I was on their Instagram page I saw <laughs> I saw that they had reposted uh one of your fistful of faithful episodes that they were on so I thought that was kind of cool yeah fistful of faithful um the king is dead long live the king yeah it'll always excuse me I'm gonna sneeze it'll always be out there I wish we had a you know a cough button in yeah. That. Well, now that I've called attention to it, I probably won't sneeze. I'm feeling that like tickle that like develops. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the the Circle of Rhinos, I think I had posted something about them. There was a period, there was the, the during the main year of COVID, I think probably the first, probably from 2020 into 2021. Uh, I would say probably from like June to July or, or August, um, I was living at my parents' house and mostly just recovering more from the aneurysm, but also trying to make heads or tails of, of everything. And one way I figured I would stay grounded was I would record an episode a day of A Fistful of Facebook. So I think, and I would try to find like three bands to cover each day so i think in my spelunking down the youtube matrix i think i stumbled upon circle of rhinos and uh, that's how they got on my radar and then they remembered me because they uh, contacted me recently to say that they're going to work on they're working on their new album and which i was excited about and i said you know what uh, Heather and I can talk about uh, the EP, and then that'll hopefully do something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when I was, um, excuse me, I was listening to um, what I what I so about the whole album. What I like a lot of times, instrumental bands will attempt to make one of the instruments become the vocals. So they'll play a lot of melodic noodling and stuff. Um, you know, it'll almost be like jazz or an improvisational quality. What I like about this is these are songs that are, that are very chord driven. So it's almost like they just took lyrics that were meant for the song and didn't use them. But it's like just a song you would listen to. Am I ma am I making any sense here? Yeah. Okay. So I, I appreciated that because a lot of instrumental music I listen to is very 
much where the, the instruments are trying to fill the void. And with this, they allow for the space where the lyrics would be to just be, which I really dug. Um, and then when I was listening to the track, Behold the Hunt Night, I thought it sounded like some really heavy Pink Floyd. Like, like when Pink Floyd is usually, um, you know, progressive rock, I would say, but sometimes they get heavy, uh, not metal heavy, but just heavy, like hard rock heavy. And I felt like that I could hear some of that. Um, I'll have to go back and look for the Thin Lizzy uh, influence, but I'm sure it's there. So, yeah, that was so it was cool. I'm glad to know that they've got another album coming out. Um, and uh, again, it just goes to show that music is universal. Yeah. So, sp yeah. speaking of universal music, we're going to go from Rome, Italy to Brazil. Yeah. To talk about Madame Frankenstein and, and take it away. <laughs> yeah. And um for this I got I got a notification, I got a YouTube notification that the song Doom was uploaded to Rob Hammer's channel. <laughs> and um <laughs> I thought with a name like Madame Frankenstein and with a song called Doom and then to find out that the album is called Doom, I'm like I, I've got, I have to, I have to listen to this. I just have to listen to this. And I saw, I saw that the, the band was inspired by Electric Wizard, which makes a lot of sense. To me, this album is acid soaked doom. I got some Uncle Acid and the Deadbeats vibes from it as well. Um, the horror theme, this is a perfect, perfect release to get you in the mood for her Halloween. I think my favorite track on the album is Red Woman. I just love the vocal delivery and the guitars. The tone is so low, but there's also these higher notes, which what that they worked in. And um, I really like the way that sounded together. There's a the the fade out at the end. It kind of reminded me of the back when MTV used to play videos <laughs> back in the 80s and the 90s. That that fade out kind of reminded me of that. So that was kind of cool. I couldn't find this. I couldn't find them on any social media network. <laughs> like they don't have any social media at all, uh, at least that I could find. And I'm hoping that they get something out there because it would be kind of cool to be able to keep up with what they're doing, you know. So get it so get at least one social media. <laughs> yeah, I, I I typically will try to tag bands in anything that we do. Yeah, uh, and I could I think you know with the name Madam Frankenstein, uh, I I found a couple of Twitter users who are probably into BDSM and sadomasochism. Oh. Uh -huh. So I was just like, yeah, this is probably not the band. Um, <laughs> yeah. The the person dressed in a black corset holding a whip, guessing not the same Madam Frankenstein. So uh, yeah, I would echo your sentiments. If you're out there and you somehow watch this, um, perhaps like a link tree at least, or, or some presence so that we know what's going Something, on. Something, yeah. Um, yeah, I also got, you know, it's funny because I don't think Heather and I are necessarily, um, that mystical or, or, or adhere to the supernatural by any stretch, but like the universe will talk to us sometimes and give us suggestions. And like, for example, giving you Madam Frankenstein and the album is called Doom, you know, the synchronicity yeah. happens all the time with both of us. So. Yeah. If you're if the universe is listening, keep knocking because we'll always open the door. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, this was really cool, and it's funny because the first track is instrumental off of Doom, because I just I just listened to the album Doom, and uh, and I was like, oh okay, another instrumental band. That's that's pretty cool, and they're sort of acid, hate like a, a psych, psychedelic acid rock type thing. 
And then the vocals kick in. I was like, oh, wow, this is okay. I, I better reassess myself. Um, but yeah, it was really, it was really cool because it has elements of sludge to it. It has elements of doom to it. It's got elements of stoner rock and acid rock and space rock and all these things that work really well with, like you mentioned, the unique vocal delivery. So it's really cool. Definitely something in time for Halloween. Um, and it reminded me actually, so, um, this story has served as the basis for um, a couple of different films that have dramatized it. But uh, Mary Shelley, who wrote the book Frankenstein, she and her husband, Percy, went to Lord Byron's estate uh, for a weekend. I think it was in Vienna. And they were telling ghost stories. And Lord Byron said, hey, I have an idea. Why don't we all write a ghost story that we can tell to each other? So the four of them agreed. And that's how Mary Shelley ended up writing Frankenstein on um, sort of like a dare from Lord Byron. Um, and, and I think this guy, John Polidori or something like that, ended up writing another famous work called The Vampire. So um, what was basically truth or dare uh, on you know Lake Geneva or something turned into Frankenstein. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, and I want I wonder because Frankenstein is the name of the the scientist who creates the monster. You know, in the book, he's just referred to as Frankenstein's monster or the creature. Um, so I wonder if Madame Frankenstein is supposed to be the Dr. Frankenstein's wife or, or Mr. You know, I don't know Mr. Cause he, cause he's, I don't think he's married or has a family in the book. It's been a while since I've read it. So I don't remember. Yeah. But I was curious who Madam Frankenstein was. Um, just like I was also curious at what the circle of rhinos hinted at because that's, I mean, I can only imagine that's a frightening thing to behold if you happen yeah. upon a circle of rhinos. Yeah. yeah. And then I don't know if you've seen, there's a video that I saw on Instagram of a dog. Like it's like on the sidewalk by, by like a brick, not a brick, but like a stone wall. I guess it's in Africa and the dog is just laying down and, and a rhino happens upon the dog and starts sniffing it. And the dog wakes up and someone wrote subtitles. Uh, like, excuse me, this is the most horrible, day, horrific day of my life. And then the dog sprints off. Yeah. Which is like, I can only imagine being a dog chilling, waking up and seeing a rhino, like sniffing at your hindquarters. Yeah. That... So, <laughs> yeah. Well, I saw that. I... I saw the circle of rhinos mentioned in one of their posts. They mentioned, uh, they made reference to heavy animals, you know? So I'm like... Well, that, yeah, the, that kind of, yeah. So there's meaning, there's meaning behind it. Oh yeah. I mean, so, yeah. some, I mean, it's probably a very literal, you know, a circle of rhinos with heavy hoofbeat, rhinos, rhinos with the, you know, heavy hoofbeats and whatnot. It lends yeah. itself to the music, but uh, the, the mystic in me is looking for symbolism. So yeah. But either way, um, check out Crossroads Breed. It's an EP. You can get it on Bandcamp. And then Circle of Rhinos has a full-length album coming out next year. And I hope Madam Frankenstein establishes some kind of communication. Yeah, and I, I saw the, the stuff that they have on their Bandcamp page is like singles. And, and it looks like most of, most of them is included in this latest album. So. <clears throat> I think they released a few things and then they put it all together on one album. Yeah. Well, I think doom came out uh, this month. If yeah. I think mistaken. it came out two days ago, actually. So I yeah, think, there, there's more. What's the day? No, two days ago. I think it came out two days ago. So, yeah, yeah. There you go. So yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So actually on the ball with this one, <laughs> we are so you are so on the ball feather. <laughs> I'm glad I just happened to see that 
YouTube notification, you know, and then I was like, what's this? Madam Frankenstein. Absolutely. Well, yeah. By the way, I dig the helmet uh, hoodie you're wearing. Oh, thank you. And I'm, I'll give some love to my boys in Cavern Deep. This oh, is a, yeah. one of their, if you haven't checked them out before, they're an excellent uh, doom sludge band who yeah. uh, is themed around the, the briny deep. Yes. And of course, Hel Helmet, you should check out if you haven't uh, listened to them before either. Yeah, um, when they, <laughs> I saw um, in Chicago, we went to see Clutch and Helmet was there, you know, Clutch Helmet opened. Um, and, uh, got some, <laughs> Excuse me, there it is. Got, you, go, got some Clutch merch, you know, and I, ha I, had, I had already gotten a Clutch hoodie. <laughs> And then when helmets started playing, as soon as they started playing, like I mean, they were they were so good. As soon as they started playing, after my jaw hit the floor, I was like, "Wow, these guys are awesome!" As soon as they started playing, I immediately went to the merch table. <laughs> I went to the merch table, and I'm like, "Nah, I don't want a t-shirt." They had a zip-up hoodie. I'm like, "I'm getting that hoodie." So I'm like, nah, no, definitely I'm going to bypass the t-shirt. I'm going straight for the hoodie. So <laughs> I ended up at that concert. I ended up with two hoodies, one from Clutch and one from Helmet. So, yeah. So well, if, that, a... if, if that doesn't tell you how good they are, that, oh. they, that they warranted getting a hoodie. Yeah. Like, yeah. Immediate, like immediately, as soon as they started playing, I'm like, I'm hitting that merch table. <laughs> nice yeah all right well um i'm hoping that uh madam frankenstein w were somehow able to keep track of them because they'd be yeah. worth, worth knowing when their next album is coming out and, yeah uh, and i'm glad circle of rhinos will keep us in the loop when yeah. their newest record drops next year i don't know if like madam frankenstein if they google themselves or i don't know how they know about people you know i don't know but if if you're out there yeah. if you're a fan of madam frankenstein or you know how to contact them feel free to send them this video yeah because their music is really good and we both enjoyed it yeah cool well that's that's all i got for today yeah so um do yourself a favor. Go check out Circle of Rhino, Rhinos. Rhino, why do I keep doing that? Rhinos and Madam Frankenstein. And uh, we'll see you next week for episode. We're getting close to 100. Yeah. And we'll, I'm I'm sure when we get to episode 100, uh, we'll, we'll be talking more about A Fistful of Faceful and oh, yeah. HHHG sure. sure. and, and the whole shebang shebang. The whole shebang a bang. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, we will see you next week for episode 94.